Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE uh, Premium. But before we get into the video, I just wanna kind of uh, mention something quickly. I'm gonna try this out for the second channel. This is gonna be a shorter video. Uh, so this picture of the car is pre-sold, but I figured that you guys might still want to see it. So if you guys like these videos where I just do like quick walk-arounds on the stuff that I can at least show, <laughs> of the car um then let me know when i can start doing more videos uh, like this i think it would be something that'd be pretty fun uh to do and so yeah with all that being said uh let's just get right into this review well before we get into the review a huge shout out and thank you to the large miller toyota here in murray for having this car check out the inventory in the description down below let's get into the video so let's go over this rav4 first off we're going to talk about what is powering this rav4 it has a 2.5 liter nachi aspirated four cylinder that goes to an ecvt transmission total system output with uh this and the hybrid system System is 219 horsepower and then uh, combined fuel economy is 40 uh, for around town and on the highway and yeah that's pretty much everything there now actually coming up and looking at the RAV4 itself I really like that body line on the hood it kind of gives it a more aggressive look and it just kind of slopes down in the center and I don't know I think it looks uh, fantastic and uh, you guys can see here with the new headlights uh, for the RAV4 they're pretty unique from an aesthetic perspective and then you got the fog lights down below that and then notice how the uh, front grille is all darkened uh, you do have the Toyota logo that has the chrome on it and then the blue that signifies this is a hybrid and then notice you have the kind of like nostril venting there is kind of what it looks like almost um, but yeah other than the headlights the rest of the front end pretty much uh, looks the same as what you had uh, before and I'm pretty sure that's all they really changed was just uh, the design on the headlights and then just give you guys kind of like size comparison here so you can see that was a RAV4 right next to a 4Runner um, to give you guys an idea of scale uh, in terms of the uh, RAV4 compared to another Toyota model. And then you guys can see the tan wheel set up here to the side. Definitely love the darker coloration on the wheels. And then you can see the tread pad in there with the tires. And then there's a quick little look at the front suspension of the RAV4. And uh, notice how there's the splash guards there off to the side. And then you guys can see the actual size here. So 225 millimeter uh, for the tires. It looks like 18 inch wheel. Um, and so then you can see here with the molding around uh, that. And then notice the mirrors are body painted. You've got the little chrome accent there in the center portion and then this one has the roof rack from the factory actually uh, it's an option you can get in the cars and notice everything's pretty much body painted or blacked out on this uh, particular car and that's kind of part of the package that's why i thought i'd show it to you guys if you kind of want like a sportier looking uh rav4 basically but don't want to pay for like a tier d or something you still want something that has a hybrid powertrain and that's what this package actually gives you um and then you can see same thing in the rear with the splash guard and then the fender flare. And yeah, I love uh, I love the color on this. It definitely looks really good on the RAV4, I will say that. And uh, actually popping here to the rear, first off what you guys will notice is the taillights are unchanged um, from last year. Those are all the same, so the blacked out element. And then notice how that kind of like dissects there across on the roof. And you can see a little shark fin there at the top. But notice all the badges are uh, blacked out here, including the hybrid badge there in the center with the uh, blue around it and the Toyota logo and all that fun stuff. And then you guys can see the exhaust tips out the back uh, to kind of give it a sportier appearance. That's why they do the dual outlets, uh, which is interesting because some manufacturers that release hybrids, they try to hide the fact that it's gas powered, whereas Toyota, you know, shows it. Um, here's a little bit with the interior, uh, kind of hard to see. Uh, but uh, just like a quick glimpse, you guys notice that there's like leather on the steering wheel uh, and really can't see <laughs> the uh, front seats. Here's through the uh, front windshields. You can see it a little bit uh, better. You can see nice bolstering and everything in the seats the seats actually look really nice in this uh, package the xle is a nice uh package it's it's got like a really solid uh interior you guys can see the infotainment system and then the climate control is just down uh below that and all that uh, stuff that comes through for if you guys want a more in-depth look then i have a full review and a limited um, but anyways you guys can see 2022 model year and then here's the standard equipment uh that comes with this package uh, sorry about the glare it's kind of makes it harder to see but if you freeze the frame you should be able to read all of the uh, standard options pretty well and then you can see the optional equipment on this particular one and then also the base price is like thirty three thousand. Uh, before options are added uh, on to it uh, but toyota options are never too crazy so you guys can see the total price is thirty four thousand, almost thirty five thousand uh, dollars which uh, for everything this has is actually pretty reasonable and uh, yeah that's a quick look at this lunar rock uh, hybrid rav4